A nine-member committee headed by Kaduna State Governor Nasi Erufai has been set up to address the increase in agitations for the call for restructuring of the country. Well, the governor says the committee would set up social media platforms in order to give young people the opportunity to participate in the discussion. A public affairs analyst, Owolabi Falano, joins us now to discuss this. It's good to have you here on the news hour. Well. Now, let's talk about the par participation of youths in this um, call for restructuring in Nigeria. Considering that restructuring uh, means a lot to different Nigerians, how do you expect the young people to um, receive these platforms being set up for their participation? I, I must say that I'm impressed that uh, the APC um, restructuring committee are now trying to go to 12 states now. It's a form of a public hearing to take submission from different people, so of course, including the youth. But as well, the youth, we need to understand what restructuring is all about. Some people, maybe some Easterners, for them, restructuring means secession. Some people, restructuring means creation, creation of more states. Some people, it means creation of uh, uh, state police. Some people, it means resource control. So I think uh, I'm a little bit impressed that the APC has drawn some items that they want to talk about. So if we have all those things, it will get the youth well to be able to decide, okay, yes, on this uh, creation of states, this is where we stand. On resource control, this is where we stand. On And so on and so forth. Are so you saying some kind of awareness on what or perhaps the APC itself should come out and say what is restructuring to them? Thank you. Because if you look at the APC manifesto, you will see that they, they are just talking about the evolution of power and all that, but it's not really, um, there is no clarity, so to speak. Okay, and you look at it, I think they are also getting the information, because initially they set up a, a committee co uh, which consisted of 10 people. Now they have expanded it to 23. What that means is that they are trying to bring in more people. Before, they didn't talk about uh, public hearing, going to, going to all those places. Mm -hmm. But now they are saying that they want to go to 12 states to hear the views. And uh, Governor Nasir Erufai specifically mentioned the youth mm -hmm. in, the, in, uh, in his statement when he visited the Astro that he will also listen to the youth because of their reactions to the issue of the restructuring. And talking about the reactions, um, Tell us, tell us how what the, the agitations of the youths in Nigeria, vis-a-vis um, -vis the agitations for restructuring in Nigeria, what would restructuring mean for a Nigerian youth? Yep. That's why I'm saying that we don't have any specific definition of restructuring. That's why we think that... But can, can, can the you youth give it you. a definition? Okay, to me, yes. what I think restructuring means is that we will have a, a, a platform for devolution of power, specifically on state creation, this is where we stand. Mm -hmm. On uh, fiscal federalism, as regards what will come to the states from the federal revenue sharing formula, this is where we stand. No, no, the, the, the question she's asking okay. is, we have a lot of definitions, yes. different shades, 50 grades of, 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 of me, of right. OG, yes, yes, that yes, we yes, have. Yes. But you as a Nigerian youth, mm -hmm. what does restructuring mean to you? What would you want to be restructured exactly. if you want it at all? For me, I want to see the revamping of the educational sector. That is what is more important to me. Anyhow they are going to do it, whether you are going to take it away from the federal and give it to the state and the local government. You know why? No. Education is key. Most of the things that are happening now, we, have, um, we don't have good leaders, for example. We need to look at it. If we have qualitative education, a lot of things revolve around education itself. So I think that is more important for so me. So would you say the APC is not going in the right direction now because we are yet to hear any, anything regarding restructuring of the education system? ASU is even on strike. Yes, we have been talking about restructuring. Nobody is even talking about education. Why I said education is because it relates to the youth. Believe me, we are losing a lot of money to all those foreign countries. Our best brains are going to the U.S., they are going to the UK and all that. If you remember Tony Blair, one of, it, one of the things he did well in UK then was to work on the educational sector of the UK, uh, the British system, and it's, they, they, are, they, are, they are benefiting from it now. I think one of the core agenda of the youth, why we go with state creation, revolutionary formulas, of course, the f politicians are always there to fight for their own interests, but the youth, we need to look at how we can, along the line, have a definite roadmap 
to revamp our education system, make it a global right. standard. We'll not go into that because I know some teachers are already, already agitating that they do not want to go to the states. They want their salaries to remain <laughs> with this, so which, which is an, another angle to it. But let's stay with this and uh, social media and the youth. Mm -hmm. How credible do you think the social media is in terms of gathering information from the youth, their contributions? And is there any possibility that this process could be hijacked by some people who are not so uh, youthful, but uh, perhaps will pretend to be youths and mm -hmm. pushing the idea? Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm, I'm sorry to say, most of the people we call youths in Nigeria, they are people that uh, they just fall by the wayside when it comes to activism. You have, you have people like uh, Femi Falano, he has been in the, on this, uh, in the political scene for the past 30 years, he's still there. We don't have people who are coming up. And these are the youths that um, when it comes to, for example, Charlie Boy was fighting for resume or resign protest. Mm. And you see a lot of people on social media mm. criticizing him. But I believe in the context that if you are going to fight the messenger, you can fight the messenger, but don't ignore the message. So most of the things that we also pass across on social media, they are very key. I think the youth, we have to realize that the whole brigades, sorry to say, I mean the politicians, the whole people, they have failed us. So we need to come to the center state, take the center state. I think one of the advantages there that the social media has been able to achieve is the issue of uh, uh, the age limits. You understand? Not too young. Not young. I think we have achieved a lot in that and the the Senate and the House of Representatives, they are footed in support well, How of would that. you expect the young people to take advantage um, of social media platforms more um, to restructure Nigeria in their own terms? Yeah, for example, I like the way we handle the not too young, uh, not too young to run campaign, activism, trending, people also going out to the National Assembly to protest and you know, to make their voice heard. I think if we continue in that, uh, in that, uh, in that aspect, that is one. Two, we need to eschew the uh, the habit of collecting money from politicians is not good because when people want to contest for election, they gather the youths, give them money to do their bidding. When they get to the government uh, houses, they do something uh, Which different. Which underscores our point, really. We're wrapping up right now. And the youth can also be, maybe some black guests can be passed or some people, and you hear some voices on the, on the social media, maybe not even what they want to do, but because of some money coming to their pocket. That's a possibility from what you just said now. Mm -hmm. Many thanks for your time and contributions on TVC News Hour today. Mm -hmm. Ola Falano. Many thanks. Thank you.